So welcome everyone. And yeah, I'm very excited about this class. It's one of my favorite themes. So I don't know if you've remembered um, the last few we did hips, love for our hips. And then last week was love for our back. And so I was like, ah, what about love for our belly? And you know how I love to talk about bellies and the hara being the center. I mean, it's not only the belly, it's the back, but bellies are so shamed in our society. Everyone's wishes for flat bellies, but you know, rarely are bellies flat. So just this loving for bellies and whatever shape they have, I mean, they're, they house very important organs for us. Um, all of the digestion, the neurons that are there in the intestines, which as research continues to show are as important as the neurons in our heart and the neurons in our brain. And in fact, it's links to dementia if the neurons in the belly are not ha happy. So this class is just belly love, like goodness for, for the center. So, so if you like for the opening meditation, and welcome Andrea, I'm glad you're here. You can rest your hands on your belly if that's comfortable. And sometimes it's not comfortable sitting. So if you prefer to lie down to rest your hands in the belly, do. But we will land in our gorgeous bellies. And maybe noticing, oh, what if you, that's not what, word comes to mind when you think of your belly and start to include that in the way you perceive your belly. Hello, Celia. So closing your eyes. Landing here. And we'll start right with the belly and as you tune into your belly, Ask your belly, hey belly, how are you? And wait for the answers to come. And this belly region can be a place that holds a lot of worries, fear and anger. Breathing into the belly. Letting the belly feel tuned into. Letting the belly feel cared for. And asking the same question, hey belly, how are you? Is there anything you want me to know? Anything you have to say right now? And as best you can without judging, listening to the tales of you from your belly, the joys and the woes, the worries and the excitement. and offering your belly gratitude. Gratitude to its capacity to digest your food, to extract the nutrients, to purify your blood, to detox the body. It's pretty wondrous what goes on in the belly. Thank you, Belly, for all that you do for me. And maybe even you can share your love for your belly. Oh, Belly, I love you just as you are. 
just like this. And bring, if you like, a hand now up to the heart. Of course, the belly center is linked to the heart center. It provides the fire, the heat, the connection. So how's your heart right now? Feel open or constricted, warm or cold, energized or tired. This is a center that holds more love, hate, courage, and sorrow. Take some time to tune into the third center, the mind. So if you like, you can place a gentle touch on the forehead by the third eye. Some like to, not everyone does. Or even like a calming hand on the forehead. It's the center of insight. Wide openness, knowing. And asking yourself, yeah, hey, mind, how are you right now? What's the weather like? Whether it's quiet or oof, full, it's giving it space. But yeah, let it feel tuned into. Let it know it's got a yoga hour ahead of it. Oh, wonderful. And the hand can travel down, gently touch the heart again, and down to the belly. And seeing if you can breathe into your belly. So on the inhale, feel the belly rise. On the exhale, feel the belly recede back. Relaxing in your inhale, the belly comes forward. Exhale, relaxing the belly, recedes back. So what's conscious belly breathing like right now? The hands can release to your lap. Those lying down can bend the knees. And we're going to do the baby bridge breath, either sitting or lying. So inhale, arching the lower back, opening up the chest. Exhale, flat in the lower back. You can round four. This can be done sitting or lying, letting the breath guide this motion. Forward and back. And at the end of your exhale, you can actively pull in the belly muscles and widen towards the back of the body. So give me some muscular engagement there. Relax on the inhale. For those of you sitting, this can travel all the way up to the shoulders, the throat, to stretch the front of the neck, and on the exhale, the back of the neck. Allow yourself to be slow with this movement, curious. And those lying down can gently come up to sitting now.
felt the ground beneath you, there's a bit more freedom to explore a wider range of motion. The shoulders can get involved on the exhale, you can draw the shoulders towards you. On the inhale, draw them back. Two, three more. And then returning to neutral. And then those lovely Sufi circles, the spiraling around. having this image that you want your internal organs to glide over each other, no stickiness in there. And due to what we eat, due to stresses in relationships at work, the amount of sleep we've got, things can get naughty in there, they can get tight. So not shaming any tightness, any stickiness, rolling, sliding over, helping it release. As humans, we walk on two legs and expose one of our most vulnerable parts of the body. Or rather, my million friends are down on all fours protecting their belly. So here we are sharing. Circle the other way. And there can then because it's so vulnerable and it doesn't even have the ribs to protect it, there can be a hardening in the belly. There's a natural, like quite intelligent way of like, oh, I need to protect myself. But it, that's true sometimes, but definitely not always. And if we don't learn how to and remember to soften, then that can get really tight and stuck. So in the safety in your home, the safety of this practice, exploring this range of motion. And so that seeing this knots that happen as protecting ways of being helps us not blame ourselves for being the way we are. It's like, oh, look, my body's trying to protect me. My body is doing the best. So thanking, gratitude, thank you protectors. You can relax right now few more breaths, either direction. Uh, maybe a little dancing in here. Care, ease, love for the belly. And then pausing. And then we'll come down to lie and we're gonna give ourselves a little belly rub. It's one of my new favorite things to do. I do it every night or almost every night with lavender oil. So lying back, maybe you want a pillow, maybe you want pillows under your knees. Taking a few breaths just to notice what it's like to go from sitting to lying. And those who start lying, going from lying to sitting to lying. Feeling that gentleness of breath in the belly. And taking a hand and rubbing your belly. And as you circle your hand around, do so as best you can with as much love as possible. A sense of gratitude, care, appreciation. And then experiencing it from both, from the hand giving, but also from the belly receiving. How we can give and receive in the same moment. And let the circles get bigger and bigger. 
if we all had huge Santa bellies. <laughs> ah, wonderful. As if our bellies couldn't be big enough. And you can decide if it's a lot of pressure or just a little, what do you prefer? And then from these big Santa belly rubs, letting the circles slowly spiral in to get smaller and smaller. Look how it's just tiny little circles. And maybe you can even sense that the circling goes beyond the skin and you can feel it inside. And the circle can get even stiller until your hand stops, but there's an inner circle and you can always place the other hand on top, that's not comfortable. Visualizing a gentle internal swirling in the belly. And hugging your legs in towards you. Squishing the belly with the legs. This is what we do to babies when they have too much um, gas, when they're colic. We're just like, ah, squish it, help it move. So yeah, maybe that's just the case for you now. If sounds happen, sounds happen. You can swirl around. And I think everyone can relate to the correlation from the belly to the mind. You know, when you've eaten a really big meal, a delicious, luscious meal, and the belly is really full, the mind gets a bit dull. <laughs> and so we need time to digest and that passes. And there's more clarity in the mind. And that's also why in some meditation retreats, there's not much eating. So it's helping clear the belly. And then circle the other way. Feeling how that not only is this a squishing in the belly, it's also a great massage for the lower back, the back of the hips. And then getting still and hugging the legs in. Face relaxed, jaw soft. Few breaths here, relaxing into the squishing, the pressure. Releasing the arms and they can come shoulder height and we'll come into a twist. And bring your legs over to one side and you can keep them on top of each other, across over. You can put blanket between or under the legs. And we'll hold this for four minutes. knowing that you're gonna be here for four minutes, getting everything you need. And once you've created the shape, so the hips one direction, shoulder the other, that twisting and squishing in the belly. And then I invite you to breathe into your belly here. Feel what it's like to inhale. Feel what it's like to exhale from the belly into the belly. 
And the rest of the body is soft, open, curious. Whatever you can relax into the ground, into the shape, please do. And feel your breath rise and fall in the belly. One more breath here, feeling what the twist is like. Inhaling, coming up. And hug your knees in or relax your legs down. How do you feel now? What do you feel now? And coming to the twist on the other side. So making allowances for this side. Maybe you come further, less far, maybe you need extra padding. Remembering we're going to be here for four minutes. Taking all the time you need to create this twist, hips one way, shoulders the other. Squish in the belly. And what I invite you here 
is to practice metta towards your belly. Dear belly, may you feel at ease. May you be at ease. May you be well. May you feel connected and supported. Dear belly, may you be at ease. May you be well. May you feel connected and supported. You can repeat these three phrases throughout holding it or add any additional variations what loving kindness can you offer your belly in this shape? Dear belly, may you be well. You be at ease. May you feel connected and supported. And then on the inhale, bring the legs up, hugging them. Hugging yourself, hugging your belly. Breathing into what this is like. And releasing the legs, lying on your back, feeling the rebound. How do you feel now?
taking your time to roll over and come up to hands and knees. So you may want padding under your knees and we'll do some more movement, cat cow, arching on the inhale, rounding on the exhale. Tuning into this movement from the belly's perspective. Feeling the stretch on the inhale and the squishing, the compression on the exhale. Two more breaths like this. And then coming into the wild tiger, but sometimes we focus more on the hips, the shoulders here. I really want you to feel how it is from the belly. How can you move your belly, roll it, squish it, stretch it. And the other direction. And then pausing. Okay, we'll come into the dragon lunges. So I like to have a pillow under my knees. You may or may not. Bringing one leg forward, the other knee back. The target area is the front. So I'll do the leg first so you can see better. The target area is the front of the thigh into the belly. So your stomach and spleen meridian. We'll hold it for three minutes. So some people it's more effective to stay up to get the stretch here. Others it's better to come down, to come into there. The legs that, that's in front can go off to the side or to the front. And eh, I, I think it's called dragons because of the heat that it brings up. And some heat is really important for your digestion. The stomach and spleen can have a tendency towards dampness. So clearing that dampness away. But because it's yeah, more fiery, more yang. Don't feel that you have to be still here. This is a shape where I like to play with minor variations. So relaxing into being curious about your dragon. Feeling the stretch along the front of thigh, into the hip flexor, into the belly maybe all the way up to the chest. If three minutes is too long, of course, coming out and resting either in child or on your belly. Seeing how can you be with this? Yesterday's yang class, I talked about blooming into the shapes as we held these strong yang classes for many breaths. 
maybe even in these yins, this unfolding, blooming. But not forcing anything, you'll break the petals if you force. And ever so slowly easing out of the shape. You can either come to lie in your belly or in child. Pausing and feeling the rebound. come up for the other side so moving your pillow to the other side if you need it other leg comes forward two sides are different so watch the edge here do you sink down do you lift up do you reach back how deep do your hips sink So target is the front of the thigh into the hip flexors, the belly, and maybe all up in the chest, so the superficial front line of the body. And specifically, we're tuning into feeling it from the belly's perspective. So maybe you like to rest a hand on the belly here. Maybe not. Definitely resting in the breath, not fighting the fiery shape. And allowing yourself to gently bloom into it, to open up. Caring for whatever is coming up. And if what's coming up is time to come out of the shape, then please do. Ever so gently, slowly coming out either into child or lying on your belly. Do 
breathing into the rebound. And we'll come into a symmetrical back bend. So from your belly, either coming up into Sphinx, or if that's too much, down in Sleeping Sphinx, or if that's too little, all the way up into Seal. Four minutes. And that means you could also do two minutes of Sphinx and two minutes of Seal. Find the right distance for the legs, let the belly hang. Relax the bottom, check how it is for your shoulders and neck. You're engaging them or relaxing into them. And often we tune into the heart here, but tonight we stay by the belly. Can you keep your belly soft in the shape? Maybe some gurglings happening, some movement, maybe it's still. Feeling into your belly center. And letting your belly center feel tuned in too. Breathing into the belly. Feeling how this shape works on your tissues, works on your energy body, your heart, your mind.
ever so gently easing your way out. Come to lie in your belly and feel the rebound. And coming back either into wide knee child or butterfly, whatever your body prefers. So four bend with an inner thigh stretch. Either sitting on your bottom, folding forward feet in front of you, or as I'm doing wide knee child. And you can take cushions and support your head. Those in butterfly, making sure the pelvis is tilted slightly forward the back and round. Feeling perhaps how in this four bend, the belly is protected. Breathing into the lower back, allowing that area to stretch, to widen, to release the tension at whole. so that there can be a softness and an ease in the belly. Deep sense of connectedness.
Taking one more breath here. Easing yourself out and come to lie on your back. Take your time. Lying on the back and feeling the rebound. What's your connection to your belly like right now? How's energy flowing through your body right now? We'll come into one more moving twist, bend the feet or the knees, bring the feet a little wider than hip distance, arm shoulder height, windshield wiper twist. So letting the knees fall to one side, stretch from the front of the thigh, room for the belly. And then over to the other side. So there's a small back bend to the twist. Plenty of room for your belly to relax, to spread. And if you like, you can reach your back arms. If the knees go to the left, you can reach your right arm back behind to accentuate the stretching. Sometimes I find even sticking at the tongue or opening the eyes and spreading there helps. One more each side, seeing if you can delight in the movement. And then pause it. And again, another belly rub. And the willingness to be with this vulnerable part of your body. So it's soft tissues, it's organs. To all the emotions that are held here, all your gut instincts. Circle the other way if you like. Not everyone likes circling in both directions. And we'll come into our final posture, which can be Shavasana. Or if you want to come into melted heart, go ahead. A shape that is relaxing where you can release fully in. So the belly can be relaxed, soft. Closing your eyes. Feel free to have pillows anywhere you need pillows. Letting the ground and the pillows beneath you hold you. Letting your weight release into them. Okay, 
here you are, just like this, widening into it. Noting how you feel now. Being with your breath, being with your belly. And letting your breath deeper than you can start to wiggle, stretch. And come out of your Shavasana, unless you'd like to stay in it. Once you've come up to sitting, if you're coming up to sitting, letting there be an elegance here, a length to the spine, a release in the shoulders. Mm 
And you can bring your hands together. May we have bright, insightful minds. May we have courageous, loving hearts. May we feel connected to our belly, to this life. Full of gratitude. Namaste.